I remember how exciting it was to learn we were gonna have our third child. We're hoping for a girl, you know, God blessed us with, with a boy, blessed us with a, a very special boy. You know, we were fully expecting a normal pregnancy like we had with our first two boys, but God had different plans for Landon and he had different plans for us. Because I already had two small children, they were two and four, I think I didn't really notice maybe some subtle symptoms. Um, I was busy just doing normal things, um, just a busy mom. And then at about 24 weeks, I noticed I was starting to have a little bit of swelling um, that progressively got worse. At that point, I did start taking my blood pressure and that's when I noticed my blood pressure was a little bit high at the same time I was having some headaches as well. And that's when we decided to go into the hospital. I remember Dr. Singleton coming in about eight, nine o'clock at night into our room and you could tell by the look on his face he didn't have good news. So it's that time we learned that, that Landon was gonna be born uh, on that, that night. So about 11 o'clock they were, had her prepped for her C-section and I can still remember Dr. Singleton taking Landon and handing him to the NICU nurses and from the wrong angle you wouldn't even be able to see him through his hand. I remember him going next door into the other room I remember hearing alarms going off, and I remember hearing a very faint cry before they got him to the NICU. Over the next 156 days, Landon's home was the NICU, and we divided our time between the NICU and with our other children. We had lots of people help us and family to help us out, and you know, we talked about him having good days and bad days, and that's kind of what it was like. It was a roller coaster. The people caring for my baby were people that I loved and trusted. I knew they cared for me and my family just like they were family to me. After 156 days in the hospital, we were able to bring Landon home to what we often joke about is our own hospital room at home. Landon was on continuous tube feeds. He was on continuous oxygen. He was on continuous pulse ox monitoring. Now that, you know, Landon's home, you know, that, that changes things tremendously. At the time, we couldn't really take Landon out many places, so the boys just kind of had to be content staying home. We didn't really go anywhere because we were so afraid of Landon being exposed to too many germs. The boys were very cooperative and staying home. We did a lot of activities and things at home just so we could kind of protect Landon and keep him away from things. So they did kind of have to adjust and that was part of our new normal. Yeah, we've gone from a, in a very, what seems like brief period of time over the last six months or so, from having to stay close at home to venturing out to amusement parks, to taking them to water parks, where six months ago, that wasn't even on our radar. I could have easily been sitting here today, you know, talking about losing a son, a wife, or a son and a wife. Those things go either way and they go different ways all the time. So God, you know, truly blessed us with how well Landon has done. Our older boys love to play baseball. They played baseball this year and Landon loves to be right up there with them and we feel very blessed that Landon has done so well and we're excited we're gonna have three boys on the ball field.